Give it up for your first comedian of the evening, Julian Stern. Hello! Wow! Who thought Thumper was gonna be from the Soviet bloc? That was a that was a twist. That's the most American dressed person I've ever Mickey Mouse shirt, novelty socks that just say shit on them. And I mean that actually makes sense. He's a, he's a Russian spy, guys. He's a Russian spy, we gotta watch it. They're like, what are the Americans like? And they're like, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> First words <laughs> in pockets, and he was like, "Okay, I got it. That's, that's that guy. Oh man, what a this is a beautiful theater in the round. I'm gonna be doing uh, I'll be doing uh, uh, some uh, some monologues from Camelot. Uh, great, fantastic musical. Uh, you all don't know Camelot. Come on, you don't know musicals. What if I maybe I sh Shikori, should I do it? Should yeah, I do, do it? Yeah, do it. It's a rare condition in this day and age to see any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition and the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. I'm not gonna finish it. I'm not gonna finish it because you all didn't start singing along. Um, that's from Camelot. That's a song from Camelot. You all know that. Um, no, it's Family Matters. Hi everyone. Oh gosh. I'm feeling loosish and goosish. Is anyone else? This is cool. You have got me feeling real nice. I saw so a piece of media came across my desk not too long ago. A piece of media came across my desk. It was the caption for a pornographic film. Caption for a pornographic film. I didn't watch it. I promise you. I was watching another one. It was in the sidebar. It said, and this is true. It said, blonde babe down on her luck and needs help with the rent due to COVID. <laughs> Okay, now this is a this is a very common common genre in all sorts of porn. Okay, in in the in the bad porn, the good porn, the straight porn, the gay porn, the lesbian. You know, someone's down their luck and they need help. But do we need to bring COVID? Like, like why do we need to be aware of what's happening? Like, 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 like excuse me, excuse me. What's next? Is it gonna be like these Ukrainian babes will do anything? <laughs> You, you know what it would actually be, though? It would actually be Ukrainian stepmom stuck in her homeland. <laughs> now, only some people laughed at that. <laughs> because only some people are aware that, that the new step-sibling, step-mom, step-everything porn is called stuck porn. And I made the mistake of telling my, my wonderful partner about this. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a one of those, those straight white woke couples, which just means that if one of us says what had happened was as a joke, then the other one wins all the rest of the arguments for the rest of the week. Because, because it's like, ah, ah, remember when you appropriated AAVE? Remember? And it's obnoxious. It's terrible. We're the worst. We're the worst. But, I, but so, you know, we're open with each other about these things. You know, so we're not, we're not married. We're not married. And I think that's at least partially because of the word partner. Right, because when I was little, when I was little, partner was a word that that gay people and lesbian people had because they were legally not allowed to be married. <laughs> they were legally not allowed to be married. They couldn't be husband and husband or wife and wife, so they were partner and partner. Right, and and so and then us us progressive millennials came along and we saw we were at one of their houses and we were like, oh, what's this? This looks so nice. Is that what is it? They were like, that's partner. That's because we can't we can't be with each other. And they're like, oh, we have commitment issues also. We'll take this now. <laughs> it's terrible. So anyway, yeah, I told her about stuck porn. Huge mistake, because now she just makes fun of me. Stuck porn is just when somebody is stuck in uh, under a bed, which you don't really get stuck under a bed. I don't know if you've ever been under a bed, but you don't get stuck. Or, or another place you don't get stuck, but they do get stuck. In, in these videos, washing machines. <laughs> all, all the time. <laughs> these poor ladies are stuck in washing machines. And how do they get out? By being fucked. <laughs> I, and I'm sorry to tell you all about I Also, I didn't think I was going to be talking about this. This was not my plan, but now I've, now you all know. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm a, I, I, I don't know about I, I got obsessive compulsive disorder. True story. Yeah, yeah. Some people like to shorten it to OCD. But I prefer to list all the ingredients. <laughs> you know, I got the real deal, okay? Because I don't want you thinking this is one of those faux CDs. But people are like, oh, 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 I'm so OCD. I have my life together. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stolen valor, that's not what that is. So, you know, you know, the type of person, they'll, they'll say, oh, they'll color code a bookshop. And they're like, oh, 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 I'm so OCD. I know, I'm so OCD about decorating. No, you're not. 
That actually looks really nice, okay? <laughs> That's called picking an aesthetic and executing on it. If you were OCD about decorating, let me tell you, all your books would be on the floor, and so would you, because you want to get it right, but you can't get it right, you can't get it right, how are you ever supposed to have a family, okay? That's, that's so, so listen, OCD doesn't get you into the Architectural Digest, it gets you into the DSM-5, you know? <laughs> You're in magazines, I'm in medical journals, we're not the same, oh. That, I, a, lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of, a lot of guys will walk into a bar, and people say, oh wow, I, I bet that guy used to play college ball. I bet that guy used to play college ball. I walk, I walk into a bar and people say, I bet that guy used to do long form improv. And that's true, that's true. I call these boys listening in agreement, all right? You know? and listen, listen, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people lose respect for someone when they hear they did improv, but improv can be a beautiful thing, okay? Yes! Yes, thank you! Yes. Improv is, it can be a group of artists coming together to create something never seen before, never seen again. But we have to admit that improv can also be a group of guys coming together to have a crush on the same girl with glasses. <laughs> and, and, and if you say why she gotta have glasses, then you've never been on an improv team, okay? <laughs> because there is hot and there is improv hot and never the twain shall meet, my friends. <laughs> An improv hot guy, he's like 6'1", 14 pounds, and actually just a flannel on a coat rack, you know? He, he's got a name like Matt or Joe. That, we all know him. We love him. We dated him, probably. An improv hot girl, uh, she looks like she's a barista at a pop-up coffee shop inside of a library. Really cute. That library, it, it's inside of a bird's nest, okay? She, she's got a, a more exotic name, something like uh, uh, Jess or Brenda, you know, you know, real exotic, okay? And, and, uh, and you're like, how's Jess's skin so nice? She's hanging out with those scratchy birds all the time. It's because she's got a trust fund, all right? Yeah, yeah, uh, and just so you know, I didn't make up those names. If you add up all the all the Mike, Joe, uh, Brenda, and Jess's on the UCB Performer page, RIP, <laughs> 36 of them! 36, yeah, wow, that's only in LA. They got a whole other branch over in New York. You, you guys, uh, uh, anyone got someone in their life who's addicted to cell phone games? Yeah. Okay, you got a few of them? You got a few of them? Yeah, I, I, I do, and, and let me tell you, it's different. Because when somebody's addicted to heroin, you can say, hey, stop it, stop the heroin. And they either go into recovery or they say, no, I choose heroin. But if somebody's addicted to candy crushing, you say, stop the candy crushing. They're like, you're right, it's making me sad, they delete it. And then a few hours later, you hear from the living room, <laughs> you hear candy crush noises, and you're like, hey, what's going on? And they say, and they say, no, 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 this isn't candy crush. This is gemstone jamboree. It's totally different. See, in candy crush, in candy crush, I'm a royal janitor, and I'm assembling similar candies in order to clear the candy court for the candy king. But in gemstone jamboree, it's different. It's different. I'm a jewelry stylist, and I'm assembling similar baubles, you know, because you know my clients, they got the big event. And, and, and I made those up because the only way, when asking someone who, who is into mobile games what the point of the game is, it's like talking to someone in QAnon, okay? <laughs> you get more confused with every question, more angry with every answer, and the only way to end it is by shouting, just know that I love you, and backing away and making yourself a whisper, which is what I'm gonna do right now. You've all been wonderful, I'm Julian Stern. Uh...